It's been my pleasure over the years to share some little sketches that I make at the piano to see if they grow up into big grown-up pieces. That's just a piece without a title so far. Oh, actually, it's got a little working title. It's just like a gospel. <laughs> Let's find out whether that ever makes it somewhere, somehow. Answers on the postcard. <clears throat> Whatever you think it's worth. So, should we continue? Oh, let's, in fact, start with Concert 68. Here we are, the 19th of January. Can you believe it? We start with a lovely piece by Emmanuel Chavoyer, uh, Album Leaf, and it's played by our friend Yuki Smith. Wiccan Waltz by Peter Thorne, regular contributor to our online concerts, performed by him here. Um, here we have a touch of witchery, wizardry even. These are the feelings, at least, that came to the composer as he was progressing in the composition of this piece. I wonder if it comes across in this performance. I'm sure he'd like to know. I certainly would. Enjoy Wiccan Waltz.
Non sibi sed patre. Uh, not for self, but for country. It's the uh, saying much associated with the United States Navy. And it's dedicated to uh, my dear friend, Mr. Paul T. Burkhardt, Jr., over there in the United States. He made it to a certain age, and so, therefore, a certain piece was written for him. The um, My Country bit, I, I think, is also represented somewhat in the photography of some gorgeous bits of the United States. Um, a wonderful collage uh, designed by... Uh, Penny Rich and photographed by Paul and by Carl. How wonderful they are. I hope the music meets the emotional sentiment and the centre of this particular piece. Anyway, I hope so and I hope you like it too. Here it is for string orchestra and harp. Non sibi said patre. Santa Rosa by Terry Hiscock. Terry is a wonderful contributor, both live and indeed recorded. 
And here we have him um, in ensemble mode. This is uh, the ensemble hunter musket. That's uh, Doug Malta, Reg Trevitt, Chris George, and Terry. Uh, great little fly on the wall recording of his original piece, Santa Rosa. <laughs> been no word for so long there's been nothing in the wind I've been shipwrecked marooned abandoned all my life I've been waiting on the mainland I've been waiting for a sail but my love has drifted seaward on the tide forward to next week when we'll do our last of the series of three online followed by live yes we're live in February hooray um, so here it is the last item it's a suite actually of three pieces the piano player here is the wonderful Christopher Weston the saxophone player is the decidedly uh, ordinary Jeffrey Wilson <laughs> and it's music by me uh, a little suite formed of three of the first piece Cinco Something about syncopation there, perhaps. Arioso, uh, an elegiac piece which has uh, really taken off in recent years. And the final of the three, those changes. Those of you who know what changes mean in jazz, it means the chord changes. And you may even wish to, on the postcard you're about to send me, about all the above mentioned, uh, tell me exactly what these changes are. On the other hand, you could just enjoy <laughs> a trio of pieces performed fairly recently up there in Ipswich with my dear friend Chris. Did I say Happy New Year yet? I think I did, a while back. Hey, doesn't hurt to say it again. 
every single best wish for 2002 to and beyond.